our discussion will be about a live telescope and then the closer view of the planet Mars. First the definition, a telescope as you know is a device that is used for viewing distant objects. So precisely I am going to talk to you about uh, the astronomical refracting telescope because that is of interest in the present scenario. So uh, I am going to talk to you about its final adjustment and that the image is formed of infinity. Now regarding the description, the diagram, the equation and a nice problem we will discuss in the second part of this presentation about the telescope. But now I am going to tell you uh, how the uh, telescope is adjusted, how it was viewed and how uh, we got a glimpse of the planet Mars and then of course the lunar surface also and more importantly a little while later in, in, in the presentation uh, about the uh, sunspots the solar disk, how the disk appears brighter in the central part of the, of the star and then uh, you know with its um, uh, less brighter uh, edges. And then I, I'll, be, I'll be explaining to you uh, the, the, uh, the details about uh, the um, telescope because we were able to watch the planet very closest uh, on the 6th of October. We had a problem with the climate because it was a bit cloudy and uh, we could witness a closer view only on the 27th of October at 2.30 a.m. in the morning keeping awake all the while and finally a glimpse of the red planet and uh, later on I will be sharing with you the computer transferred images of uh, the planet as well as the lunar surface that uh, we were able to watch. So let me invite you uh, for a live uh, glimpse of the planet Mars as well as the lunar surface and um, uh, of course I will be sharing with you the naked eye view of the planet also and how magnification is nothing but the uh, focal length of the telescope divided by the focal length of the um, eyepiece that we, are which, uh, we, we, that we are installing in the process. So welcome. A view of the red planet in the sky as seen through the naked eye. Uh, Mars in, in a closer view and it is very clearly visible uh, at, at this time and uh, free from uh, cloudy weather and uh, the telescope that we have right now at the moment is uh, uh, having an um, uh, objective of uh, uh, size uh, 60 uh, millimeters and uh, the uh, eyepiece which uh, I can change to my convenience uh, uh, which is having a size from 25, ranging from 25 millimeters to 12.5 millimeters and then the 4 millimeters which is now being in installed. So the magnifying power is nothing but the uh, focal length of the uh, telescope divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. So the focal length of the uh, objective, uh, I mean the telescope is 900 millimeters and the eyepiece which has got a focal length of uh, uh, 4 millimeters. If you divide uh, 900 divided by um, 4 millimeters, you will be able to get a value that is close to 225x. That means uh, 225 times will be the magnification uh, for this telescope. Uh, I shall be uh, sharing with you the uh, images that are being um, seen. So now a glimpse of the red planet that is 62.07 million kilometers from our planet Earth. And then a glimpse of the lunar surface. And then computer transferred images of the planet Mars and the lunar. A computer transferred image, a faint view of the planet Mars, a faint view of the lunar surface. This is also a computer transferred image. 